Hey, this is Shane from Performance TV. Welcome to our latest video. Today we're going to delve deeper into this. Power delivery module from a Nissan Leaf. Start taking a look at the inside of this unit. I thought it'd be worthwhile taking a look at the connections around the outside of it. So if we come down here, on what would be the left hand side of the car facing forward, you've got connections to the 12 volt battery system. So you've got the ground here and the positive here. We also have one of the connections to the cooling system. Then if we come around here, we have the connection for the EV Chidemo fast charger. So this isn't always present on uh, Nissan Leafs, it's an optional extra. This particular unit has it and hopefully we'll be able to make use of that in the future. It has this monster of a charging port. Beside it we have the beefiest of the wires. This is the direct connection to the battery. Which is pretty simple at the end of it. Just positive and negative DC hidden straight for the battery. Then beside that We've got the standard charger, which is what's known as a Type 1 charger. This is the variety that's very popular in the US, but not so much in Europe. So we're going to have to get an adapter for that to make it work here. And then beside that, we've got the power going to the compressor, to the heat pump that's used for heating and cooling the, um, the car. Again, probably won't be using that for what we have it, uh, for what it's destined for. And then we have the connectivity to the main systems of the car. So this will, is where the PDM connects to the vehicle control module and gets its instructions on what to do. And then over here, around the right hand side, we have the other connection for the uh, coolant. Okay, now that we've looked around the outside of the unit a bit, let's go and see what's happening inside. Alright, we've got the bolts off, now we just need to get into it, there's a lot of uh, grey gasket sealant um, between them so it's going to require a fair bit of leverage to break that and allow us to get this uh, piece off. Here we have it, the top section of the Nissan LEAF power delivery module exposed. So this is more than just a charger, though people often call it that name. Um, 
It basically handles the distribution of any of the high voltage power within the system. So, as we've seen, the Chademo fast charge comes in here, and we see then that it hooks up to two pretty substantial looking um, bus bars going into a logic board and then into two Omron high voltage relays or connectors um, before then passing into some more bus bars that lead down to the battery. So that's the contact to head down to the battery. Also coming off the same terminals, though with much smaller wiring, is the connection for the compressor for either the um, cooling or cooling and heating, so aircon or aircon and heating. But that's just one section of the circuitry. So then separate to that, we've got power coming in here. Again, these are much smaller cables. So this is coming from, as we've seen before, the standard charger. So this is the AC charger. But different to what's coming through from the, the DC fast charger, this is AC current. So it needs to be rectified and changed to DC before it can be sent to the battery. So that's the, why you've got all this circuitry that it has to go through before it can eventually come back and feed into the battery. Then what we also see here is the DC to DC converter for sending power to the 12 volt uh, battery system. So I'm going to cover this up again and then we're going to flip the unit over and see what's on the other side. Flip this unit over and get it the underside. So there we have it, the underside of the PWM module, effectively just a continuation of the circuitry that we've got up above um, with the connection down to the converter going through these two beefy looking bus bars here. You may be wondering why they've built the circuitry on two sides of the unit uh, rather than just having it all stacked upon each other for example um, the key thing here is really cooling so this central piece of aluminium is, is a heat sink um, with the coolant running through it so you want the components that are going to heat up to be as close to this 
as possible so that they can um, benefit from the, uh, the cooling going through it. It's the Nissan Leaf PWM, bit of a, an overview and a dig into the internals. We're going to put this away for now, we're not going to really be using it for the initial parts of the build. Um, but we'll come back to it later and see if we can find a way to make it work outside of the, the leaf itself. Um, but for now, I'm gonna put the rear casing back on, tighten it back up, flip it over, um, disconnect these cables internally so I can take them out and make it easier to store, and then um, put it away. And next time we'll take a look at the inverter. So we're going to undo the internal side of a lot of these um, connections so we can basically pull them out and store them separately. But while these things look like connectors, they're really just through points. Um, all the connections are here are on the inside, trying to keep things as, I guess, efficient as possible, electronically speaking, with as few joins um, getting the power to places. Cables removed, so now we can uh, close this thing up and put it to one side and start looking at some of the other components. All right, so there we have it. Uh, a brief view at the insides of the Nissan Leaf Generation 2 power delivery module. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this is going to go away for a bit, we'll come back to it at a later point to delve a bit deeper in and see what we can actually do about using it outside of Nissan Leaf. Um, but till then we're going to take a look over the next few videos at some of the other uh, components of the drive unit and, and give you a, an equally in-depth look at them. Hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have feel free to like, share and subscribe. Till next time.